Hey guys, all in Spooky Tool, should I say Ryan isn't? You all know my name now, well my first name, but I'm all now to my last name. And welcome back to another video. Um, in this video we'll be installing Windows 3.1 and obviously I'm using MS-DOS 6 as it's a Because MS DOS and Windows are But I'm not actually. Um, so yeah, a batch file or whatever it is is a MS Windows and slash MS DOS home file, which is kind of executes as you can see. In this case, this is the one which it yeah, executes and starts up and once again. Which isn't my fault, and I tried to fix loads of issues. 
which doesn't as well go again go well because I keep making mistakes and I keep making mistakes since I'm not used to MS DOS that much. You really have to get used to stuff if you're gonna do this sort of thing. And then it said to Emma, yeah. So I fix it up by sorting this out. Um and I finally find that um disc image which I was trying to find eventually. Um I'm not cutting this part out since it's part of the installation and I want to be able to show you what it's like installing so yeah Windows 3.1 it's a third maybe fourth version of Windows I can't remember fourth and therefore it has and it's before the start menu existed which was introduced in Windows 95 this is not based off the current kernel it's based off the 9x and it's 16 bit except this is running on the 64 bit host sorry for sounding a bit technical i finally i found the sound blaster cd1 pin and that's what i use so cd1 uh, hey ho and i find quite a, a good website with files but I don't like it since it's not really useful so I end up in downloading this year. Long trials again and I find a mistake. So I try to go back to that website and here we are and now uh, we're just editing it and I decide you know what I'm gonna try this one more time. Notice there's no mistakes apparently even though there is it'll be a few mistake here. That oh, I went past it too far because of the time lapse. So then I try this fake YouTube website, which done, and I find that this one file, which, which makes it useful. So I insert it and run the setup, duh, duh, and then I reboot, and therefore it works. By the way, did you know you can press Control Alt Delete on MS DOS to reboot it? something which I only found out I know we're now we're installing setup from um a floppy even now I thought I had a disk image so I have to find full CD image but it's useful anyway since I want to have that support and now we're just getting onto the laggy part because it's lagged like hell <laughs> because of how much RAM so I need to see me end up fixing a few stuff Anyway, I'm now inserting this third disc for Windows 3.1 and now it's starting to copy files which is my 1990 version of Windows most of which are like small sound effects This is the first version of Windows with sound as well Just saying It was powerful for its time Trademark <laughs> Anyway, um So We're getting on to some more major copying and Up, which I select no printer attached and did install since there's definitely no printer. I can't afford a printer. <laughs> then I end up setting up for MS DOS stuff and then it tries to be from Drive D. So I just click cancel after enough times and it still works from boot. It's just very slow now at this point, as you can tell. So this part's not really time lapsing that far, so I might as well talk about. Nice get ISOs. I normally go on to winworld.com, etc. And yeah, now we're finished. Now we're gonna reboot and try doing stuff. Let's see if there's any problems. And now I run Windows, which is taking forever. But it's obvious at this point. So I end up re turning off and just trying to adjust memory to 250 which was good enough for that time and it's still having loading problems I might 
return to this VM in the future and just sort a few problems out. And anyway, we're reaching the end of this video, which means I might as well say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to go on to the bloopers. Bye! Hey guys, all one Studios here, and welcome back to another video. Oh. My friend's not close enough.